born in 1936, I mean 1836, he basically stated that he was one of the CEOs of the NAACP, and yes, he was white because he thought that slavery and that was not, was, wasn't really fair to anybody because I'm sure that no white person would want to be slaves and be owned by a black person because they would feel as if they didn't have to do that. And if it turned on the white people, then they would see how the black people put up with all that, and they would see how the, the they would see how the black people felt. And, 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 and so there's a lesson in terms of trying to work together and to uh, work against uh, separation and segregation. And you would always be in favor of working against separation and segregation. Is that what you're saying? Yes, I would. You believe the, uh, the equality of everybody, is it uh, men, women, uh, races, and et cetera. Is that, what you're, is, is that the position that you're taking now, uh, talking to me here? Yes, it is. Space, to speak to that then. I mean, do you think that that's a godly kind of position or that... Uh, that, 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 that that's what God would have us to do? I think God would have, I think God is very proud of what all those people stood up for, like for Coretta, Coretta Scott King, Rosa Parks, Sojourn Truth, Harriet Tubman, Mar MLK, Malcolm X. He would be proud of them because they stood up for what they believed in and they stood up for their 13th, 14th, and 15th Amendment. And so there's a long train of individuals that go way back into uh, the history of the uh, United States of America that opposed uh, slavery, you believe. And I think you've indicated that on a number of occasions, talking about some of the abolitionists and uh, uh, Sojourner Truth and other individuals. And so these individuals all opposed uh, slavery and they all uh, favored the, the NAACP. And you believe that the NAACP, even though it was established in 1909, is still an organization that young people like yourself ought to support. Why should they support such an organization? Because the NAACP wanted to give black people what they deserve, and they wanted to give them the rights that every black person dreamed of. Not just Martin Luther King had a dream, but all black people had a dream of being treated equally one day and being the same as a white person would have been treated. And so, and, and, and so, and, and, and closing, making some closing statements in reference to that, uh, you believe that uh, more people should be more concerned about the topics that we are talking about here today and that uh, your people your age ought to be especially concerned about it. Why should they be concerned about it? Because it's a part of their heritage. Now, they can learn about the Civil War, and, and it may not be a part of their heritage, but it's still a part of history, mm -hmm. and all black people should learn about about the people who tormented them and the people who stood up for them. They should all learn about it because I feel they believe to know the truth. Okay, and very good. And I certainly I think that uh, you for that kind of information today, Lana. And uh, I believe that in a real sense, uh, the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People can live and continue to do the things that it uh, has already done. And I, I just want to thank you for bringing that information by. And I want to encourage our audience to tune in again next week for another informative edition of Comments. Thank you and good, good morning. morning.